Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video we're gonna dive into some classic Chicago blues style guitar, and I'm gonna share with you how to play Messin' with the Kid, as recorded by Buddy Guy and Junior Wells. Now in this guitar part, we're gonna be combining together some riffs, some chords and some bass lines to make it just a ton of fun to play. But before we dive into the lesson, if you're new to the channel, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this fretboard guide that shows you the five must-know chords and scales to map out your entire fretboard. And this is gonna go hand in hand with today's lesson because as we're playing these chords and then sliding off into bass lines and playing riffs, a lot of that comes directly out of the scales that go together with those chords. And this fretboard guide is gonna show you all of that on one page. You can print it out, it's completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below as my gift to you. All right, well, hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's break it down. All right, so the tune kicks off with this really cool riff. It sounds like this. <laughs> So we're in the key of C here. This is a blues in C. And we're starting out by just hammering from the third fret to the fifth fret on the third string. Then we come back to three. Then we jump up one string to the fourth string and do the same thing. It's a little copy and paste there. Then we're gonna reach up to the sixth fret on the fifth string and play six, five, three. Using pinky ring index. Then go to the sixth fret of the sixth string, back to the third fret. So, so far I've got. Then we're gonna finish with this little bass walk up. That's third fret of the low E, sixth fret, and then third fret on the fifth string. And that's ending us there on this C note. Remember I said this is a blues in the key of C, so all of that really to me is kind of going around this shape here. For those of you that are in my cage course, you'll see that that's kind of an A shape there. Right? It goes together with that chord. So that's our intro. You could count it like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Then we start the groove and this is so fun to play. We're gonna basically play a riff and then move that through our blues chord changes. Here's what it sounds like on the one chord, the C chord. All right, so we're starting out on this shape here. This is a really great chord to know for blues. It's just three strings, the third fret of the A string, second fret of the D string, and then third fret of the G string there. Three, two, three. Now you wanna mute off the other strings so you don't get any open strings. Now we're gonna do a down strum there and then an up. Then we're gonna slide into the seventh fret on the fifth string. Then grab five on the fourth string, then eight, 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 then five on the third string, and back to eight on the fourth string, like this. Now I am adding a little bit of a palm mute to it, just a light mute throughout with my strum hand. Two and three and a four and I'm gonna do this four times. And that's gonna be our C7 or our one chord. Then we're gonna take it up the neck and do the same thing but over what we call the four chord like this. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the F7 chord, same as this. Just moved it up, 8, 7, 8. Then slide into 12, 10, 13, 10, 13. So two times there on the four chord, then we go back to the one chord and play it two more times like this. All right, that's the first eight bars. Then we have the last four bars, bars nine through 12 of our blues. And here we're gonna play this. back to the top of our progression. So we brought in one new chord. We're gonna now play that same riff, but over what we call the five chord, the G7 chord. And the beautiful thing about this shape that I showed you is look, you got it for all these chords in all different places on the neck there. So here I'm playing the third fret of the low E, second fret of the A string, and third fret of the fourth string. And slide up. Seven, five, eight on the fifth string, then five on the fourth string, eight on the fifth string, like this. Then I'm on that F note and I go and do the same riff that we did on the F. And then what we do is we actually tie in the intro riff here. So the last four bars all together sound like this. Then we're back to the top. So let's put it all together. We're gonna start off with the riff, then we're gonna go into the 12 bar blues, and then we'll end with the riff. Now when it ends, it ends like this. And we do what's called a tag. Do it again. Three times. And then we end right there on beat three. So one and two and three and four. One and two and three. So let's put it all together, including those tags and the ending. Get set and I'll count you in. One, two, ready, go. To F. Back to C. So have fun working on your Chicago blues style playing. And to help you even more with this, be sure to grab my fretboard guide at the first link down below. This is so useful for learning your entire neck. And if you wanna play songs and you wanna to learn to improvise, this is gonna be one of the best PDFs you can grab. And it's just one page. Get it completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and if you like blues guitar, be sure to check out this video next.